Or a siphon. Here, drink oh. this. Oh. 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 Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh. You saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Boy. Yep. Swanson! Reverend, where are you? Come on. What? Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. <laughs> No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. Oh. Uh, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but... I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. What are you doing? Off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. 
What the hell is your problem? He's with me. You got to... Oh my god, he killed him! I'm gonna keep the law on you! Killed him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Hey you! Get back here! I said stop, damn it! Okay, okay. Tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Mistake. You can still be safe. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Get it. Come on. You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry! Uh, I wish I was different! <laughs> uh. 
Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... Mumbling about now. Yep. One for the road. Come on. Oh. We shut up. when he'd show up. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Uh, uh, oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor uh, bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Calendar boys, I reckon. Sure. <laughs> you know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Everybody knows them Navy boys can't fly.
interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Partner, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Ah, look out! Arthur. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot, defense, wagons, and coaches, that's easy money for us. Hold up a second. Are you gonna ride with me now? So, back to what you were saying. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal the stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Easy. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long, Adam. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Yes. Okay. 
I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, man. You know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here. You selling something, partner? Free. Better just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit better. Uh, uh, this session has been free for grabs, I might call it again. How much will it cost? I'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, mister. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next time. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Get us moving, Arthur.
should have been more careful. Why aren't we on the damn road? Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Hey, slow it down. So what were you able to lift from the house? Yep. A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. What are you doing? Get back on the road. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, come here, you maggot! Please, sir, I'm. I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Ah! Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. 
You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Be reasonable! <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Good morning. One night when I was frisky, from too much potent whiskey, like waves on the bay of Bitsy, I began to tumble and roar. My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor lobster. Let's go, boy.
see you. Defenseless man. Where's the spook? Yeah. <laughs> 